Good evening. So uh, I'm just going to take five minutes to tell you a bit about how I came to do a PhD at Queen's and also how my experience has been in what I'm planning to do next. So I have been a student of Queen's since undergrad and I came here originally to do drama um, but took up a beginner Spanish course and really took to it uh, to the point at which I kind of changed pathways. Um, somewhere along the way I was thrust into a renaissance module which I protested about I really didn't want to do but it exceeded my expectations in every way and um, I ended up because of it pursuing a master's and from that then the natural kind of progression for me was uh, to go on to do a PhD and I was lucky enough to get funding to do that so I'm now in my third year um, so I did this subject first and foremost because it fascinated me and of course I was good at it. It's multidisciplinary and on any given day of research uh, my analysis can be historical, linguistic, anthropological, literary um, and political all in the one go and examining cultural constructs alongside socio-political contexts um, on a daily basis gives me the tools to uh, also examine my own um, current context. So you'll find your own reasons for what, why you want to do your subject, but I think one of the most important things is that you find a subject that you are passionate about because it'll carry you through three um, very challenging years and it'll give you the satisfaction as well when you get to the other end. So um, the second reason I uh, did a PhD was because of my supervisor. Um, I found someone who was uh, tuned into my personal needs and the way I learn and uh, was aware that a PhD wasn't only um, an intellectual endeavour, but it, it's also a vocational training in research and higher education. So in, in summary, those are the two things that I think you should be looking out for when you're doing a PhD. Not only that your project is compelling to you, but also that you find someone who works well with you and who will support you in the way that you need that. Um, so my experience so far at Queen's has been excellent. I'm in a very tight-knit, small uh, department um, that is modern languages. I'm part of the bigger AEL school. So I've had an opportunity to mix with plenty of other people from different languages as well as um, translation and because of my subject which is based on Renaissance, I've also uh, managed to make connections uh, across the school into English as well. Um, so participation in things like seminars and uh, give great opportunity to get feedback and you really get the sense that you're no longer just a student, you're part of the active research body of the school as well and it lets you integrate in a different way. Um, Conferences, obviously things like that have really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Teaching as well is a great opportunity um, and there are plenty of transferable skills in there as well as public speaking as I've uh, learned. Um, so what do I plan to do next? Well, um, the PhD has given me skills in the field of higher ed, but it's also training uh, in project management. It's an endeavor for developing personal uh, skills such as leadership, um, professional independence, and self-drive like no other kind of project really will. Um, I plan to go into academia, but I'm not opposed to the idea of looking outside. And I know that the PhD has been uh, rigorous training in core skills that will serve me in whatever I end up doing.